हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ओ टू एमेजॉन कनेक्टर वीडियो गाइड पावर्ड बाय एम ए प्रो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ टू अपडेट द प्रोडक्ट डेटा टू एमेजॉन सो लेट एस बिगिन टू बिगिन विद वी गो टू एमेजॉन सो हियर यू कैन सी देर आर सेवरल मेन्यूज अवेलेबल एट द टॉप आई गो टू प्रोडक्ट एंड ऑल वेरियंट्स So here is the listing of my Amazon product over here. I go to one of them. So here you can see there are certain tabs available. These tab contains the data of your Amazon product. So you can update or add the information over here and just save the record. And then we can export this data to Amazon. Now there are two possible ways by which we can update the product data to Amazon. the first one that is the selective way where you can select these individual products over here and then go to action so here you can find an option that says export products in amazon once you click on this one the data for these selected product will be updated to amazon here we need to take care that these products are already exported to amazon in prior so This was the first way where you can individually select the product and update the data to Amazon. The other way is to export the or update the product data to Amazon is the bulk export. For that, we go to Amazon Odoo menu, Amazon operations. So here, under the instances, you can see the marketplaces have been listed over here. Now. whatever operation you will perform that will be applicable to all the products that are coming under these marketplaces so if we click on this export product option and click on execute all the products for these marketplaces will be updated now here we need to understand one more thing that is as you have requested an update operation to amazon Amazon will not straight away update that data to the Amazon products at Amazon but it will put your request to a queue and in return it will give you a field that is let's see what is that field submission history so here it will give you the message the field message that you have requested to Amazon let's see the sample for that So this is a sample feed message that you have requested to Amazon. Now, whenever Amazon will be performing that update operation at its end, then it will be generating a feed result, and that feed result you can get it by get feed result button. Now, if Amazon has performed the operation, then you will be able to see the results under the under this feed result label. If not. you can come again after a short time and again click on the feed result and if the results are generated if the operations are performed at amazon you'll find the result over here let's see one of the sample feed result over here so from the feed result you will be able to know whether your operation was successful or was there in any error so this was about the feed submission history Thank you very much for watching the video. We hope the video was useful. Emipro specializes in customization, consultancy and support for any of the services. Feel free to contact us on www.emiprotechnologies.com.